Hi everyone, it's Aaron again and welcome back to another episode of The Office Chef where we compare similar yet different ingredients and cooking methods used to prepare a dish. So for today's episode, we will be working on Tada! Chicken wings. We're going to do the most sinful and my favourite way of doing deep fry them and make them into fried chicken wings. I mean, who doesn't love fried chicken wings, right? So over here, we have fresh chicken wings. Now these can be available in your wet market and they are typically sold like one or two days after slaughtering. Frozen chicken wings. This is a perfect solution for busy individuals who have no time to cook and they can be kept in the freezer for weeks. And lastly, we have kampong chicken. Now these are free range chickens which are allowed to roam freely and they are said to be like fitness enthusiasts because they are not caged up like normal chickens. And they are fed a pretty organic diet like bark, seeds, now they all look similar except for the kampung chicken which is visibly smaller, thinner and there's also a slight yellowish tinge to it. So let's start with seasoning the chicken wings. I have with me just basic salt and pepper mix. You can add stuff like soya sauce or chilli powder if you want to make it more flavorful. I like to lay them out flat on a tray so that I can marinate them individually. That way you can get the seasoning more balanced on each side. So typically I would recommend you guys to marinate the chicken overnight because the flavour ring will be better. If you have no time like me, you can just do it like 3-4 to four hours before you prep. I remember every time you handle raw chicken, make sure you wash your hands because they contain the bacteria salmonella which can cause food poisoning. Now I'll show you guys how to make a chicken seasoning flour for you to coat before frying your chicken wings. So typically I would like to use all-purpose flour. We will use 150 grams of it. Add 5 grams of chicken powder. Then over here we have a mixture of salt and pepper. White pepper will be 1.5 gram and salt will be 4 gram. Okay, after you're done mixing the flour, you can start to coat the chicken wings. Now I'm sure most of you have heard people say, Aya, frozen chicken should be less tastier than fresh chicken wing. Frozen chicken has less nutrients. But actually that's not true, you know, because if you have a commercial like blast freezer and you manage to blast freeze the chicken wing and make it frozen, you're able to retain its moisture and taste quite close to your fresh chicken wing. Typically, kampung chicken is normally used for like chicken rice, but today is my like first time doing fried chicken wings with kampung chicken. So I'm really, really curious on how would it turn out and taste. Okay, we are done. And now, the most exciting part of all, we are start to fry the chicken wings. So make sure the temperature of your oil is between 160 to 180 degrees. If you are using a normal flame stove at home, you can purchase a food thermometer which allows you to measure frying oil temperatures. Make sure you don't use those normal thermometers, otherwise they will explode in your face. Very dangerous. I'll start to fry the chicken wings. Now you have to make sure that the cooking oil is enough because if there's too little cooking oil, the chicken wing will stick to the bottom of the pan and there will be a higher possibility of it getting burnt. So while frying, you can pause and turn them with your tongs to make sure that they are evenly cooked. If you notice that your chicken wings has not enough colour, you can actually check up your temperature to 200 degrees Celsius. Wow, the oil damn shocks yeah. I can't wait to eat. So when your chicken wings have reached the golden brown colour and they float on top of the oil surface, you can start to take it out from the oil. Now how to check whether the chicken wings are ready? If you did not notice the apron on me, right, there's something here. It's actually the test pin. So normally I will just take the fattest part of the chicken and I will just poke it through. If there's no like blood, that means the chicken is more or less cooked. So on your body, right, you have the two most sensitive areas, which is the wrist and the bottom of your chin. Another way to test is... So, if you jump right, means the chicken is confirmed cooked because it's super hot inside. Okay, so now we will go on to fry the frozen chicken wings. I have two of my colleagues, Jeremiah and Joshua. Yay! Okay, so today right, I have three different types of chicken wings so you are supposed to guess what is what Maybe they are all from different countries but Spanish chicken Spanish Chinese mm. How do you have the meat? They are good cooked uh. Tender yeah, yeah. This guy just enjoying not talking 
Seasoning is good. Okay. Right, no, we're talking about the meat. We're talking about the meat today. Let's move on to the next one. It's much juicier. Mm -hmm. yeah. This guy is so deep in thought. It's just juicier. Okay. The last chicken. There's something different about this really, I can tell. The chicken is like much more lean. Yellow. Curry powder or something. No. It's sweet. I think you're right, you know, the meat is like naturally sweet. It is like, you know when you go for like collagen hot dog, that kind of taste in the meat. Can you guess what is what? Uh, Malaysian chicken. Malaysian chicken? I'll say this is the frozen one. The texture, right, of the mm. meat uh, is not as easy to pull apart as this. So that's like a characteristic of like a uh, frozen meat. This is like a much cleaner taste that I like from the chicken. Cleaner and more tender I think for me. I think I'll go for spring chicken. Yeah. Spring chicken? Yeah. I feel like this one's frozen. Mm. Oh no, it's just... Oh, first before you answer. <laughs> yeah, it's so like this like one is the most juicy, right? Which should be the fresh. Yeah, I also think that this chicken is the juiciest. Yeah, so maybe this is like fresh and that one is frozen. Then this one I don't know, it's yellow. Maybe like, I don't know, kampong chicken. So today we have a winner, Jeremiah. Because he guessed this is Malaysian chicken. Ooh. Technically, all chickens are from Malaysia. Most chickens are from Malaysia. Yeah, so he's the only one that got two correct. And for Joshua, only one. Aww. So Jeremiah is the winner. Okay, thank you Jeremiah and Joshua. Now we can get back to work. Wow, well, I thank eat you. the thank chicken you. wings. Thank you. So that's all for today's episode. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. What are we cooking next week? You shall find out. Bye!